Hello and welcome to my fifth O-Scale layout construction video. In this video we work on some backdrops. We had to go back over scene one as, as some of the, uh, the joints between the mace and I had cracked during the winter months and contracted. So we uh, repaired that with some, some more super glue and applied some spackling and uh, then sanded that out and made it smooth again. Everything looks really good now. I think I, I'd use some old super glue as a reason why that didn't work. So new super glue that took care of the problem. So we're ready to go with that. Got some backdrops from Backdrop Junction. Uh, they were very easy to work with, and uh, we had some ideas. And they provided some suggestions. Uh, here they are. They come in uh, very nice packaging, very well laid out, uh, individually wrapped into approximately six foot sections. And basically labeled uh, alphabetically. And you start from the left and then work to the right. And they have a two inch uh, overlap. This is a new material. Uh, and we certainly have never worked with this before. But this is, uh, I understand, cloth based or cloth backed. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. So a little bit porous. So we found it best that we had our mace knife painted in advance already. Uh, and we had we adjusted the seams a little bit to, uh, to hide the overlaps. I think typically. A lot of times these are vinyl and you don't really run into that, that issue, but not a big problem. We just had to do a little tweaking. So uh, this is one of the scenes. This is in scene one, part A. We just tacked it up there just to kind of get an idea. Uh, and then uh, my good friend uh, Ernie Brewster and Brian Moore came to help uh, my son and I put it up. So it took four of us, three of us to do it, and one person to spot. This particular scene, Right here is actually in scene six, and we just pinned it up temporarily also to get a kind of get an idea. See what it's going to look like. Basically, we're trying to depict from the east coast to the west coast, and so scene one's east coast, scene six is is west. So here we go. Uh, we've applied the uh, first portion, and now it's trimmed. Got the edges trimmed on the top and bottom. And you know, these are so big, they're kind of blown up. So when you look at them close, I'm just saying from there, they're a little blurry, but you step back and they really, really pop. These look great. So we have some different sh uh, shots, I should say, of this, different angles. Uh, and you can notice a little bit of the overlaps, but again, we took care of that by working nice. Basically narrowed them down to 3 8 inch uh, overlaps and they disappeared. We found too later as we started to place things in front of them that those just disappeared. But we found that your eye didn't really follow that. So but it sure sure made a difference. It really looks good. And uh, Dave at Backdrop Junction did a very nice job on this. In a later video, we'll show the rest of them. There, uh, this is the only one that's up presently as we have not prepared the rest of the, uh, the backdrops yet, but we'll soon get to that, perhaps over the summer months. So since this scene was done, we then proceeded, we're able to, to carry on with the train. So we finished down below. This is part of the, uh, the sub-level, and showing one segment that comes up and another segment that goes into the uh, storage room or bench area for programming and uh, staging the trains. And back to our framing. It shows a little notch here where some of the high rail cars uh, were hitting the frames, so we had to notch that out. And in typical fashion, you know, we have things in our head and on paper and even in a simulator, but until we actually start laying it out, it really helps then. And some of these look like they're, they're probably repeats, but we're showing the actual finished uh, eight track yards, at least a halfway anyway. We just wanted to do it in this section that way we could carry on. So all the blocks are in place, and also the uh, the isolation for the uh, the LED tracking is in place. Also, all the switch machines are in place and all tested. So then we can move on to the second level grid, get that in place, and again start to feel out a little bit like how it's going to uh, to lay out. And for the most part, it has followed plan, but there's been some adjustment adjustments, and um, I think hopefully some improvements, some things we've seen that weren't quite obvious on paper or in the simulator uh, that we can go ahead and apply. 
it, in this scene, we've actually had an original plan A, and then as things have progressed, we've come up with a plan B. So the track record you're seeing now may change uh, a little bit. Uh, so more, more to come on that, perhaps in a, a couple videos from now where we perhaps modify the scene a little bit. But at the very least, you can see the good work and how it's coming together, and that'll probably uh, stay the same. So this is the second level main coming around the wall, out of the wall rather. Uh, and the third level, I think coming up here in a few scenes, you'll see that start to come into play. So part of that's in place where it has the, uh, the three corners plywood up on the top. And you can't really see it in this scene right here, but back in the back corner is where there's a hole. So as the three quarter inch uh, plywood's on the top, there's a hole there actually where the trains will go through and then go into the storage room and then turn and come down to the wall. Um, got my son, he does help out. He is helping out uh, getting some things ready to go. We're building the risers for the third level. Again, some different shots. Uh, some look like they're similar, but they're a little bit different. They're showing some progress. The track work's not put together. It's just laid out, again, just to give us an idea uh, we kind of enjoy taking pictures and then studying them and then talking about it and looking at some different ideas that we could do to improve. So here's some, a small section of some third level up in place. This is one possibility for what we call plan B, which would have the double track main against the wall and then have uh, the second set of yards on the second level below. Plan A would actually have the entire plywood come over the, the whole top, and all the yards would be up on the upper level. So, not really sure on that yet, how that'll play out. I'm going to start to kind of test fit some switches. Well, actually not fit, but test place is a better word. And laid up some three-quarter inch plywood to get a visual for that height. Again, nothing cut, nothing put in permanent yet, just, just testing. Carried on then with grid around the rest of the room, and partly because we have an open house coming up and we wanted to get some things in place. So uh, these were temporarily put in place for that purpose. Showing that, and then coming to the last section, it'd be scene three and scene four coming up here, and showing where that's at. So that's it for this particular segment. I want to give a shout out to uh, Dave Burgess at Backdrop Junction for helping us out. Also for Brian and Ernie and all our other good friends that have helped and, and supported. We sure do appreciate it. Thanks for watching.